hello everyone welcome back to math explorer in this video i'm going to solve and find the value of this beautiful math problem which you never seen here now how can we solve this math problem here first of all we will try to find out the value of this power 4 is to power 2 and 3 is to power 2 so it is very simple what is the value of power square power square means we need to multiply power two times so power times power is 16 so this power will become 5 raised to power 16 minus and this will become here 3 square is 3 times 3 is 9 so this will become 3 raised to power 9 now next we can write this power 16 as this will become 5 raised to power 16 can be written as 8 plus 8 minus and here we will change this power to its exponential form so we can write this power as 2 square 4 raised to power 9 now here in this one term we will use exponential math property a raised to power m plus n which is equal to a raised to power m times a raised to power n so here we will spread these powers over 5 so this will become 5 raised to power 8 times 5 raised to power a minus and here in this one term we will use another exponential math property a raised to power m whole raised to power n which is equal to a raised to power m times n so here we will multiply the powers so this will become 2 raised to power 2 times 9 is 18. Now what we will do here in this step? In this step we will try to find out the value of 2 raised to power 18 and the value of 5 raised to power 8. So here first we will try to find out the value of 2 raised to power 18. So therefore we can write 2 raised to power 18 as we can write this as 2 raised to power 8 plus 10. Now using exponential property a raised to power m plus n this will become 2 raised to power 8 times 2 raised to power 10. Now what is the value of 2 raised to power 8 and 2 raised to power 10? So the value of 2 raised to power 8 is 2 raised to power 8 means we need to multiply this base to 8 times. So it is very simple. 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16, 16 times 2 is 32, 32 times 2 is 64, 64 times 2 is 128 and 128 times 2 is 256. So the value of 2 raised to power 8 is 256 and the value of 2 raised to power 10 it is a very famous number that is equal to 1024. So here we will replace these two values with its number its values. So this will become the value of 2 raised to power 8 is 256 times the value of 2 raised to power 10 is 1024. How can we multiply these two numbers? So here we can write this 256 as this can be written as 200 plus 50 plus 6 times 1024. Here we will multiply 1024 with each of these numbers here. So we will multiply this number first with 200. So 1024 times 0 is 0, 124 times 0 is 0. No, 124 times 2 is 2 times 4 is 8, 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 0 is 0, and 2 times 1 is 2. So this will become 204,800. Plus, we will multiply 50 with this number. So this number times 0 is 0, and this number times 5 is 5 times 4 is 20, 0, 2 is carried, 5 times 2 is 10, 10 plus 2 is 12. So this will become 2. 2, 1 will be carried. Now 5 times 0 is 0, 0 plus 1 is 1, and 5 times 1 is 5. So this will become 51,200 plus. You multiply 6 with this number. So this will become 6 times 4 is 24. So 4, 2 will be carried. 6 times 2 is 12, 12 plus 2 is 14. So 4, 1 will be carried. 6 times 0 is 0, 0 plus 1 is 1, and 6 times 1 is 6. So this will become 6,144. Now we'll add these three numbers. So we will start from the ones position. 4 plus 0 plus 0 is 4. 4 plus 0 plus 0 is again 4. 1 plus 2 is 3. And 3 plus 8 is 11. So 1, 1 will be carried to the next digit. 6 plus 1 is 7. 7 plus 1 is 8. 8 plus 4 is 12. So 2, 1 will be carried to the next digit. 5 plus 1 is 6. 6 plus 0 is 6, 2. So here the value of 2 raised to power 18 is 262,144. Now we will try to find out the value of 5 raised to power 8. 
so the value of 5 raised to power 8 is here we can write this power 8 is 4 plus 4 and we can write this using exponential identity as 5 raised to power 4 times 5 raised to power 4 now what is the value of 5 raised to power 4 5 times 5 is 25 25 times 5 is 125 and 125 times 5 is 625 so the value of 5 raised to power 4 is 625 times 625 now we have to multiply these two numbers with each other so here we can write this number as 625 can be written as 600 plus 20 plus 5 times this one 625 now we have to multiply these numbers with each other so here first we will multiply 625 with 600 so 625 times 0 is 0 625 times 0 is 0 and 625 times 6 is 6 times 5 is 30 so 0 3 will be carried 6 times 2 is 12 12 plus 3 is 15 so 5 1 will be carried now 6 times 6 is 36 36 plus 1 is 37 no, we will multiply 625 with 20. So this will become this number times 0 is 0, and this number times 2 is 2 times 5 is 10. So 0 1 will be carried, 2 times 2 is 4, 4 plus 1 is 5, 2 times 6 is 12. So this will become 12,000 plus we will multiply 625 with 5. So 5 times 5 is 25. So this will become 5, 2 will be carried. 5 times 2 is 10, 10 plus 2 is 12, so 2 1 will be carried, 5 times 6 is 30, 30 plus 1 is 31, so this will become 3125, now we will add these 3 numbers, so the addition will give him, this will become 5 plus 0 plus 0 is 5, 2 plus 0 plus 0 is 2, 1 plus 5 is 6, 6 plus 0 is 6, 3 plus 2 is 5, 5 plus 5 is 10, so this will become 0, 1 will be carried to this digit, 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 7 is 9, and 3, so the addition of these three numbers gives him 390,625, so the value of 5 raised to power 8 is 390,625, so here we will replace 5 raised to power 8 with its values, so this equation will become, this implies, the value of 5 raised to power 8 is 390,625 times 390,625 minus now the value of 2 raised to power 18 is 262,144. So this will become 262,144. Now what we will do here? Here first of all we will try to multiply these two numbers without using a calculator and without using standard multiplication in the rough work. So how can you multiply these two numbers? So here is the possible method. To multiply these two numbers without using a calculator and without standard multiplication, here first we will change this number to the sum of 300,000 plus 90,000 plus here 0, so this number will become 0. Plus, no, this next can be written as 600 plus 20 plus 5 times this number. 390,625. Now, here first we will multiply these two numbers and then in last we will subtract this result from that number. So first we will try to multiply these numbers with each other. So here we will try to multiply this number with 300,000. So this will become here. This number times 0 is 0. So this will become 0. And this number times 0 is 0. That number times 0 is 0. No, that number times 0 is 0. That number times 0 is 0. No, this number times 3 is. We have to multiply 3 with this number. So this will become 3 times 5 is 15, so this will become 5, 1 will be carried, 3 times 2 is 6, 6 plus 1 is 7, 3 times 6 is 18, 8, 1 will be carried, now 3 times 0 is 0, 0 plus 1 will be 1, 
so 3 times 9 is 27 so 27 7 2 will be carried 3 times 3 is 9 9 plus 2 is 11 so plus now next we will multiply this number with 90,000 so again this number times 0 is 0 this number times 0 is 0 this number times 0 is 0 and this number times 0 is 0 now this number times 9 is 9 times 5 is 45 so 5 4 will be carried now 9 times 2 is 18 18 plus 4 is 22 so this will become 2 2 will be carried so 9 times 6 is 54 54 plus 2 is 56 so this will become 6 5 will be carried 9 times 0 is 0 0 plus 5 is 5 now 9 times 9 is 81 so 1 8 will be carried now 9 times 3 is 27 27 plus 8 is 35 so this will become 35 billion 156 million 250 thousand plus now multiply this number with zero which will give him zero plus now we'll multiply this number with 600 so this will become here this number times zero is zero this number times zero is zero and this number times six is six times five is thirty so zero three will be carried six times two is twenty twenty plus three is fifteen so five one will be carried 6 times 6 is 36, 36 plus 1 is 37, so 7, 3 will be carried, 6 times 0 is 0, 0 plus 3 is 3, and 6 times 9 is 54, so 4, 5 will be carried, now 6 times 3 is 18, 18 plus 5 is 23, so this will become 23, now, so this will give him 234 million, 375,000 plus now we will multiply this number with 20 so we will do this multiplication here now this number times 0 is 0 and this number times 2 is 2 times 5 is 10 so 0 1 will be carried 2 times 2 is 4 4 plus 1 is 5 now 2 times 6 is 12 so 2 1 will be carried 2 times 0 is 0 0 plus 1 is 1 now 2 times 9 is 18 so 8 1 will be carried 2 times 3 is 6 6 plus 1 is 7 so this will become 7,812,500 so we'll plus we will multiply this number with 5 so 5 times 5 is 25 5 2 will be carried 5 times 2 is 10 10 plus 2 is 12 so 2 1 will be carried no 5 times 6 is 30 30 plus 1 is 31 so 1 3 will be carried 5 times 0 is 0 0 plus 3 is 3 5 times 9 is 45 so it will become 5 4 will be carried 5 times 3 is 15, 15 plus 4 is 19. So this will become 9, 1. So this gives him 1,953,125. Now what we will do here? Here we will try to add up all of these numbers. Now to add the all of these numbers, we will start from the 1st position. And first we will add the digits at 1st position, their 10th position, their 100th position and so on. Now adding these digits continuously starting from the 1st position and going so on. We will get here this will give same 152 billion 587 million 890,625. Now we will subtract this one number 262,144. So this will become minus 262,144. So we have to subtract these two numbers. Now let us subtract these numbers so this will give them again we'll start from the ones position so 5 minus 4 is simply 1 2 minus 4 is not possible so we'll give 110 to this number so this will become 12 12 minus 4 is 8 now this will remain 5 5 minus 1 is 4 comma now 0 minus 2 is not possible so we'll give 110 to this one so this will become 10 10 minus 2 is 8 this will become 8 this remain 8 now 8 minus 6 is 2 now 8 minus 2 is 6 comma now these digits will be the same 7 8 5 comma 1 5 2 so finally this is our answer and value of this nice and beautiful math problem now in last if you like this video so don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel for such a more interesting and step-by-step -step math videos. Thanks for watching.